welcome back. How are you? Thank you. You look beautiful as oh, always. Oh, you too. Nice to see you both. How are you? Good. Oh my goodness, you guys look lovely. Aww, How are you thank feeling? You. Good. So yes. far, so good. Yeah, Officially in the third trimester now. So. <laughs> Yay. Today we're here at the Morning Blend, a local lifestyle TV show that I have gotten the opportunity to be a part of. So every month, our PR person and I, we kind of brainstorm and we pitch to the station a topic. So today, my good friend and colleague, Dr. Dawkins, and I are going to talk about the importance of vaccines. All right, we're, we're ready, guys. Right. We're ready. <laughs> Stand by. Show open. Five, four, three, two. Good Monday morning, everybody. I'm Carly Boyette. And I am Natalie Taylor. Let's get to today's first guest and hot topic. Vaccines can cause a lot of heated discussions these days, but there is a lot of information you really need to know. And joining us to break down some of the myths and provide us with good up-to-date information are doctors Jen Arnold and Rachel Dawkins from Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Welcome back to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. We are ready. <laughs> but you say the first thing you said to us, because we were yes. chatting a lot before, and you said it shouldn't be controversial. This no. is why you're here. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Vaccines save lives, vaccines are safe, and vaccines are effective. And there really should be no controversy about it. This is definitely a passion project. It's something that I I really enjoy. As a kid, I grew up, I benefited from such great health care. I feel like even though it is hard to balance everything and it takes time away from the family, I just want to find ways to give other kids an opportunity uh, at having a healthier, happier life. Parents just want to do right by their kids, um, but there's so much misinformation out there on the internet about vaccines. We're seeing a resurgence in measles, a, a disease that, you know, Rachel and I in our training, we very rarely saw because vaccination rates were higher. And now because either folks are choosing to not vaccinate or um, they're traveling more internationally and being exposed to disease overseas are bringing back measles to our local communities. And it is, um, it has risks and particularly to those vulnerable, you know, kids Kids, infants under the age of two. The parents just want to do the best that they can exactly. for their kids. Yes. We can all relate to that. There's so. the facts right now on your screen too. And again, like Carly was just saying, of course your doctor will be more than happy to answer any questions yes. as well. And ladies, again, we I always know. appreciate Aww. when you are here. Looking Thank forward you. to your Thank next you. visit already. Thank you. Soon. Thanks for having us. Nice. Well, time I'm like, I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna get in there. I'm sure we're going to hear about it, but it's oh, one yeah. of those things. It's going to get a lot of interest, so I'm sure. I absolutely uh, enjoy the opportunity to use my training and, and, and medical expertise in various ways. I like to be creative, and I like to educate, and I enjoy raising awareness for different topics. So this is definitely something I enjoy doing. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Stay in touch. All right, see you soon. See you